Hey everyone, it's Kate from the band Lung, and today I'm going to talk about how to play cello and sing at the same time. I used to try to take the over the garden road. I used to try to take the over the garden road. First, I'm going to go through and play part of a cover. Then I'm going to share some tips, some advice, things that might be helpful if you are out there wanting to play cello and sing and maybe just don't know where to start. And then after that, I will teach you how to play what I'm about to play right now, provided you can play the cello kind of a little bit. You know. Can't teach you how to play the cello in one YouTube video. Alright, so my first piece of advice is pretty simple, kind of. It is to remember to breathe. And I don't mean like breathe like, you know, one of those cellist breaths that's like really up here and not really that rich. I mean like a low singer diaphragm powered breath. And because uh, you can't really play cello and sing if you're not breathing. And that's surprisingly like one of the things that's first to go when we, when we try to do this. So an exercise to find your breath. All you're gonna do is you're going to sit with your legs cello distance apart. Then you're gonna flip over in your chair like this. But preferably like not holding your cello because that's just uncomfortable. So you're flipped over. And while you're flipped over, start taking some deep breaths and slow your breath down and just observe where you feel your breath. So you might feel it up in your chest and while you're flipped over in that position, it's actually not very comfortable to be breathing up this high. So if you are noticing that you're breathing up in that position, see what happens if you release your lower abdominal muscles. Just let them go while you're flipped over like that and start to, on the inhale, just expand in the lower belly and you'll feel the lower belly start to push up against the upper legs. You might even feel some sensations in your back and your sides and that's really, really good too. So number one, find a rich breath so that you're ready to sing. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a pretty simple exercise that you can do to train your body to be using a healthy singing breath and playing your cello at the same time, but without the pressure of actually singing. So what you're gonna do, you're going to make a hissing sound, rich breath from your diaphragm, and you're gonna hiss like this. 
Then, as you're hissing, you're going to play an open string. You're gonna do your C string, G string, D string, and A string. And uh, yeah, so it'll be like this. Rich breath. And then you work your way through all your strings. And this way, you're training your body to be expelling air at the rate that is healthy for optimal singing, but you're taking away all the pressure of singing notes. This next exercise is basically the same as the last one, except that instead of hissing, we're going to be humming or lip trilling. It's the choice is yours. The world is your oyster. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a lip trill is, it's like this. Uh, or you can hum. But you hum or lip trill along with that open string that you're playing. So, example. Again, just training your body to be comfortable with expelling air, with singing, as you're doing those nice, easy, relaxed, open bow strokes. If you feel like challenging yourself, you can do a scale and work your way up, maybe pick like a C major scale and hum in unison with that scale. So just, and then keep going and see how that feels. I honestly find it easier to do the lip trills if you're going to be doing a lot of scales. So if you never tried a lip trill, now is your chance. It's, a, it's a, an exciting time for everyone. Now we're going to move on to doing stuff that's going to challenge you a little bit more rhythmically and also get you actually singing. And we are going to use the very famous phrase from my middle school orchestra, Mississippi Stop Stop. So that's how like when I was a kid, you learned how to you know do stuff in rhythm. Like that was the phrase that they used for some reason. I don't know if they still use it, but you can do the same thing, only sing along with it. So, Mississippi stop, stop, Mississippi stop, stop, Mississippi stop, stop. And don't beat yourself up too badly if things are like slightly out of tune, either on the cello end or the singing end. It does take some getting used to. Just go through the exercise because your ear will start cor correcting on, on both fronts. Now that we've worked on some basics, let's work on covers. So first thing I would recommend doing is listening to whatever song it is that you want to play on repeat and really focus in on what the bass line is doing. And as you're listening, try to hum the bass line along with the bass line in real time. So in the case of Heart Shaped Box, the notes that the bass is playing are And since I can hum it, I can find it on my instrument. So let's find it. And those are the three notes that the bass does for the entirety of Heart Shaped Box. So at this point, there's a choice to be made. I could either keep it in that key or I could move it to a more cello friendly key with more open notes, like with less sharps and flats. And so that's what I decided to do. I moved everything down a half step. And if you're doing any cover, that's totally within your rights to do that as well. Like just change it up, move it to a different key, make it cello friendly because they weren't writing these songs thinking of us. Um, so in the case of Heart Shape Box, let's take it down a half step. So now it is G, E flat, C. And those are the only three notes that we really need to do a cover of Heart Shape Box. If you want at this point, you can add in the fifth and do block chords. So that would be G and D at the same time and then E flat and B flat at the same time, and then C and G at the same time. 
or you can just keep it simple and do the G, E flat, C as you're first starting to learn how to play and sing at the same time. That's honestly what I would recommend doing unless you're like a virtuoso cellist who's super comp confident with double stops. All right, so after you have come up with your cello part, what I recommend doing is just learning it super, super well, like so well that you could be sleepwalking and you're sleepwalking to the fridge and you open up the fridge door and you reach for the orange juice and you're taking a sip of the orange juice and you're also playing heart-shaped box at the same time perfectly. Like it should be sleepwalking ready. So once you know it that well, then instead of adding everything all at once, you add just one thing at a time. So we're gonna speak it in rhythm rather than just like going straight into it with singing and singing and doing that at the same time. Because why make your life harder? So what you're gonna do is it's gonna be like, she eyes me like a Pisces when I am weak. And then once you have that, switch it to either a lip trill or a yaw. And once that is really comfortable, then add the vocals, that add all of it, add the words, add the melody. So and, and try it slow first. So she eyes me. everything one thing at a time going as slow as you need to and also at this point you probably have stopped breathing so focus in on the breath again make sure that you're actually taking rich breaths and and yeah and then just work on the cover and slow and steady wins the race so the last thing I want to say is uh, don't be discouraged with any of this I I didn't like pop out of the womb playing cello and singing at the same time it's definitely an acquirable skill. So if you really want to do this at any skill level, you can. So just practice it, have fun with it. Don't be mean to yourself about it. It's a slow process, but I'd say like for me, it took probably two or three months before it was kind of comfortable. And then a couple years before it felt like second nature. So, so yeah, good luck. If you have questions on anything, or want me to make videos about anything in particular, please don't hesitate putting it in the comments. My band is called Lung. You can follow us on Instagram and all the things. And then I have solo music as well under my name, Kate Wakefield. So yeah, please check things out if you're feeling it and I'll be back with more videos in a bit. All right, have a good one.